how might the euro usd react to this week's fomc and did the market already signal its intent with last week's breakdown i'll have all the details in today's video including key levels and targets also the latest on the dxy all right guys so looking here at the euro usd daily time frame we talked about this last week but you can see where the market did put in a potential fake out above that 2022 trend line all right so you can see back here off of that low we've got the low back here in 2022 We've got all these lows through this area and this had served as resistance. We got the break above and the break back below. Okay, so as of right now, this up here is a fake out very similar to what we got at the first part of the year. So you can see these highs right back here. We got the sustained break above, the sustained break back below, and notice what became resistance. So that means for the Euro USD, the 1.09 area is now resistance and that's exactly what we're seeing here today. So you can see that today's session, the session high, came in right there at that 2022 trend line. But the question is, though, we have FOMC coming up on Wednesday and also a ton of PMI out of Europe on Thursday. So the question is, will this high up here hold? And that's what we're answering in today's video. By the way, if you enjoy the content, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to, to smash the like button. All right, so looking at the euro, we obviously have the market coming off of this new resistance area right around 1.09. We also have these highs right back here as support. So right around 1.0865. Now, this might not look too significant here on the euro. However, we know that the euro moves inversely to the DXY, the US dollar index. And if we head over here, this is what we've talked about recently as well. So this is incredibly significant for the DXY between 103.6 and 103.8. This entire area has been a pivot for the DXY for most of 2024. So you can see that we had consolidation back here before the break above. And obviously we had consolidation above this area before we got the break below. But both times, the DXY spent a lot of time in this 103.6 to 103.8 area. So obviously this is going to attract a lot of selling pressure this week. We also know that, again, we do have FOMC on Wednesday. So one thing that we could see here from the DXY, and I mentioned this over the weekend, but you can see where you know resistance comes in through here. We're getting the push higher so far this week. And we also have this breakout candle from Thursday that has yet to be filled in. So we know that FOMC, the volatility from FOMC, loves to sweep recent highs and lows. Okay, so one thing that we could see if the DXY stays below this area up here, Okay, if we see the DXY stay below this into FOMC, which I personally think is likely, then we could get a sweep, a liquidity sweep of these recent lows down here to kind of fill in some of that Thursday candle. And then from there, potentially we get the move higher. Okay, and the reason that I say we get the move higher is because, like I mentioned here over the past few days on this channel, if you'll notice back here, okay, at the start of this year, we had a fake out below this area, this level up here at 101.9. So we had the lows back here, we got the sustained break below, the close back above, retest as new support. And you can see the same exact thing up here above 104.5. All right, so once again, key level here, we got the sustained break above, sustained break back below, and then we got the sell-off. So you can see how these fake outs like this tend to trigger trends here for this market. And it's not just the DXY, you can do this across the board with the euro, the pound, gold, you name it, they all do it. And the reason these areas form is all due to liquidity. So the big boys know that back here, all right, so back here at the start of the year, they knew that the liquidity was sitting below 101.9, right? So you can see these lows back here and these lows. So to start the year, there was a ton of liquidity sitting down here in this area and the big boys and girls, right? We have to be inclusive. They knew that liquidity was sitting down here in this area. And so they pushed the DXY below the dollar below this area to load up on dollar longs and then force the market higher. Same thing up here, right? Notice this big red candle right back here, very shallow retracement through here. This built up as a key level. Okay, so right around 104.45. And again, the big boys and girls knew that the liquidity was sitting up here in this area. So they forced a move above, loaded up on dollar shorts, and we got the push lower. So it's all based on liquidity. And the reason I'm sharing this is because once again, we had a break below these lows back here. So 103, you can see where this has been a significant level going all the way back to last year. So we got the sustain break below, sustain break back above. So at this point, you kind of have to assume that those big players, once again, loaded up on dollar longs down here below 103. 
Now, the big test though for the dollar is going to be, again, 103.6 to 103.8. If we see the DXY clear that area following FOMC this week, then in my opinion, we are likely to see a run back here toward these highs and potentially all the way back here toward 106. Okay, but ultimately though, in the short term, how might the euro react to FOMC going into that volatility? Like I said, we do have this Thursday breakout candle down here and we have seen a very shallow retrace so far. So keep that in mind because again, areas like this do tend to get filled. They can either get filled within a few days or potentially even a few weeks, but they always tend to get filled. Notice back here, big breakout candle, very shallow retracement through here. And eventually we did get the fill in this area. Same thing over here, big breakout candle. And we got almost a complete fill during this volatility. So just keep that in mind as we head into FOMC and also that PMI out of Europe on Thursday. So circling back to the Euro, and the reason I like showing the DXY is because I think that this is really clean. In a lot of ways, this area up here for the DXY is even cleaner than what we see on the Euro USD. And knowing that they move inversely to one another, you can absolutely use the DXY to come up with a game plan for the Euro. So knowing that we could see the DXY sweep these recent lows following FOMC, okay, so something like this here, obviously no guarantees, right? But we could see something like this here following FOMC to sweep these recent lows. If we do get something like this, even something very shallow where we see the DXY sweep these recent lows before turning higher, if we were to get something like that, then obviously we're looking at the Euro potentially sweeping this high that we've seen here today. Okay. So potentially something like this, we get the retest down here, maybe, you know, sweep just below it, all of these highs back here. And then going into FOMC, we do get a sweep of this high before we get a turn lower. All right, so obviously this could change, but I am kind of looking for a sweep of these recent highs following this week's FOMC. And the only thing that would change this is if we see the Euro get below this entire area back here. All right, so the closing price is back here in this area, right around 1.085 um, or so. This area down here, if we were to see the Euro trade down here on a daily closing basis, and also the DXY trade above this area around 103.8, then this scenario, okay, a pullback scenario from the DXY would be, in my opinion, off the table. Okay, it would have to get above this level up here on a daily closing basis to show that this area has flipped back to support. But as of right now, this is going to be resistance for the dollar. All right, so just be really careful with this. Just know that a lot of times retail will try to front run FOMC, and that could be a lot of what we're seeing here today. But also keep in mind that events like FOMC tend to sweep recent highs and lows. All right, so retail that's piling in here today, you know, might not last through the end of the week if we do get a sweep of these lows following FOMC. But ultimately, whether we get a sweep of these highs or not, I am bearish on the euro below 1.09. And the same thing with the DXY or the, or the inverse, I should say, with the DXY. As long as it's above 103 down here, I am going to stay cautiously bullish on the dollar. If it were to reclaim this area between 103.6 to 103.8, then I will turn more aggressively bullish on the dollar toward 104.5 and 105. All right, so hope all that makes sense, guys. Just be careful with the upcoming volatility in the form of FOMC on Wednesday and that PMI out of Europe on Thursday. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget too, to claim your 70% off VIP access to get my help with your trading, see my trades in real time, and also get daily videos. See the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on that link that says trading group, and you will be taken to the page to join VIP. Trade well out there, guys. I will talk to you again tomorrow.